QuantumScape, one of the world's largest solid state battery companies by market capitalization, has currently revealed some very interesting solid state battery technology. So is it legit? Is this the future of solid state batteries? Do we finally have something here? Well, I'm gonna tell you what the truth is and explain to you exactly what's going on at the company. Hello my friends and welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to have you here. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. First, QuantumScape was started back in 2012 by three guys. First, QuantumScape was founded back in 2010 by Jagdeep Singh, Tim Holm, and Professor Fritz Prinz of Stanford University. In 2012, QuantumScape began working with Volkswagen. Initially, Volkswagen invested $100 million into the company. Later on, they invested an additional $200 million. So they now have a $300 million investment in the company. On September the 3rd, 2020, QuantumScape announced a merger with special purpose acquisition company Kensington Capital. This allowed their shares to be listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol QS. So you're probably wondering, QuantumScape, how are their shares going? Good question. The stock price when they first listed was around about $9.80 US cents. It actually spiked to an incredible 115 US dollars on December the 24th, 2020. Since then, there hasn't been a whole lot of good news from the company and its share price has decreased all the way down to its current price of $14.60. So is this a good opportunity? Could you buy this stock? And then one day, when they do start producing solid-state batteries, could that stock price then be worth 10, 20, 30 times more? It's possible. It's actually very possible. Will it happen? Well, I'll give you my opinion. But first, who actually owns Volkswagen? Well, one of them is Bill Gates. Bill Gates has invested in the company. Volkswagen obviously owns a huge percentage of the company. There's some other completely unknown investors and also... Well, the Saudi Arabian government own a significant percentage. No one knows exactly how much, though. In total, $2 billion was invested into the company before it went public. $2 billion. That's quite a lot of money. And considering its board members include J.B. Straubel, who was a co-founder of Tesla, Jürgen Leohold, who was the former head of Volkswagen Group Research, Frank Blome, who is the current head of Volkswagen Battery, Brad Buss, who was a former board member at Tesla and was the former CFO at Solar City, Jens Weiss, who is the head of Volkswagen Group MGA, and a number of other powerful people. You would think this is a company that really has a product and it's really going somewhere. And I have to say, I was excited when I heard about QuantumScape's latest tests making 16 layer solid state cells. Why do these matter? Well, here's the key reason. Solid state batteries, while they hold incredible opportunity, energy density is insane. I mean, a part of the battery is able to hold 10 times more charge, not all of it, but a part of it, than traditional lithium ion batteries. That's insane. Plus, they're apparently able to charge in only a few minutes. So, when I heard what happened, I was pretty surprised. QuantumScape said they have produced a 16 layer solid cell capable of 500 charge cycles. And this is the big problem. Solid state batteries, right? Charging cycles are problematic. No one is really currently manufacturing solid state batteries that are able to do more than a couple of hundred charge cycles, which is a problem because obviously you don't pay a lot of money for a battery that's going to be dead in what? A couple of hundred uses, right? It needs to last a lot longer than that. Well, this new battery will do 500 charge cycles, which is Huge news from the company. In addition, QuantumScape announced it has signed a deal with a third major automaker. They didn't disclose who it was though, but they did say that they will supply that automaker with five megawatt hours from their pre-pilot production. The agreement also paves the way for the possible establishment of a joint venture in the US with up to 50 gigawatt hours of annual cell production capacity. 
However, this potential joint venture is subject to technical milestones and mutual agreement. I'm curious as to who this is, because considering Volkswagen's obvious, basically control over the company, it's odd that they've agreed to this. Anyhow, clearly for QuantumScape, scaling up is key. And their letter lists ramping up the production of separator films as a key goal for 2022, with peak weekly starts of over 8,000. They recorded average weekly starts of over 3,700, exiting Q1 of 2022, compared to less than 2,000 exiting Q4 of 2021, thanks to improved tooling. Basically, the pre-production is starting to ramp up. The companies say that A samples will be delivered to car makers for validation before the end of this year. And QuantumScape only states that these will consist of dozens of layers, so the leap to 24 layers may get out by then. B sample cells are then scheduled to enter testing in 2023. These differ from the A samples, among other things, in that production processes from series production are already being used. QuantumScape will make the A and B samples of the QS0 pilot line in San Jose at their factory. And to give you some context on what's been happening, at the end of July 2021, QuantumScape had begun testing 10 layer cells, which replaced the previous single and four layer cells. It's not only the number of layers, though, that the company has made progress on. Earlier this year, QuantumScape had released data showing that its solid lithium battery cells retained more than 80% of their initial energy after 400 cycles of 15-minute fast charges. So now, getting to 500 cycles has been achieved, which is clearly a significant achievement. They didn't say what they did to go from 400 to 500 while still being able to retain 80% capacity. However, this article, it's a bit confusing, to be honest, a bit misleading if you didn't fully understand what was going on here. And I'm going to break it down for you. QuantumScape hasn't actually designed the final cell format that it intends to commercialize. In other words, this is just like a stage towards that process. One of the company's objectives in 2022 is to demonstrate a cell design that will eventually be used in commercial production. So we don't know if this is the product or not. It intends to deliver its first prototype cells this year to automakers. However, the company intends to take delivery of equipment for its pre-pilot plant to be prepared for delivering sample cells in 2023. So should you invest in it? Well, QuantumScape say they are making good progress in line with their plans. In the absence, though, of a final product that gets validated by automakers for mass production, investors don't have much option except to rely on what the company says. Even if QuantumScape's efforts are legitimate and genuine, considering, I mean, look at the board, they do appear to be a legit company, there's no guarantee, though, that QuantumScape will be able to design a solid-state battery that actually meets automotive requirements and at costs that the automotive industry can actually handle or take on. Obviously, cost is the key here. The reality is, if it fails to do so within the next few years, obviously its stock price will decline even further. And the other thing is, even if they do succeed, the kind of margins the company will be able to generate remain to be seen. We don't know how much money they can possibly make, how big the market is. That all comes down to how much the battery is going to cost and their actual performance when they do come out. There's a lot of unknowns here. The other thing to remember, there's a huge amount of competition in this space. There's lithium sulfur batteries. There's batteries that use silicon for the anode. There's incredible improvements in lithium iron phosphate energy density and technology. There's pretty much a whole host of different kinds of battery technology being worked on right now by a whole bunch of different companies. We don't really know who's going to be the winner and which horse we should back. So truthfully, I don't know any more than you do whether or not you should invest in this stock because honestly, I don't think anyone does. Now I should mention, back on April the 15th, 2021, hedge fund Scorpion Capital announced they had a short position in the stock. They accused the company of being a pump and dump scheme. Is it? No, it's definitely not a pump and dump scheme. Volkswagen have no intentions of dumping the stock. Whether or not anyone else does, I don't know, but they don't. Clearly, they're heavily invested in the company and they're 
staff are on the board of this company. So I don't believe it's a pump and dump stock. I do think it's legit. Will QuantumScape actually crack the code for solid state batteries? I think it's very likely they will. The key question though is, how much will these batteries cost once they're eventually produced? That, in my view, is the big drawback. I believe they could be quite expensive, more than likely, based on what I'm reading about solid state technology, meaning they would only be viable for cars probably from 100,000 US dollars and up in price. Highly unlikely they'll be used in middle range price cars or cheaper cars for at least the next 15 to 20 years. That's just my view. That's just my educated guess or slightly educated guess. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. And as ever, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.